Hey guys, before starting this video, if you guys are into building cool mobile and web applications, then make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button so that you get notified every time I upload any video. Thank you guys and do enjoy this video. I'm going to import here package material.dart file and I'm going to create a stateless widget and it will be a uh, news to be called new style okay and it is going to return a a container actually so let us return a container and now this container uh will actually uh have an, a child and it will be a list tile widget and this list tile uh takes uh, various uh attributes like the title and also the uh, subtitle and also a leading uh, attribute okay, and in, in here we can specify the image of our news article so uh, right for the title what we are going to do we are actually going to specify some parameters over here so the title would be a string so final uh, string and it will be the title and also the image url is also a string so uh, the image url and also the subtitle and after that we can uh, initialize them so news news file and right here we can specify the this dot title comma this dot uh, subtitle and also uh, this dot image url and uh let's give a semicolon and then we need to uh fill up this attribute so the title would be a text widget and this text widget will contain our title and then uh the subtitle will also be a text widget and it will have the subtitle and then we have the leading and in the leading we actually want to sh uh, show the image of that article so for that what we can do is we can specify a clip correct widget so that we get some uh rounded corners for our image and then inside of this we can specify the border radius for it so border radius would be uh border radius dot uh circular with a radius of six and then uh, we can give it a child so let's give a child as image dot network and it is a network image and here uh, we are going to give the image url and uh, then we can set also the width so we'll specify the width let's give the width to 60 and also we can specify the height so i'll give the height at 90 and then uh, we can use the fit option so fit uh, and it would be a uh, box fit dot cover okay so uh, so box uh, fit okay let's save this and going back to our homepage dot dart file here we can also use the box fit dot cover option uh inside our ca catch network image as you guys can see we are using the box fit dot cover option and uh, right here uh, now we have access to our new style so what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to import it so import dot slash i'm using the shortcut so it will be double dot slash since we need to change the folders so uh, right here i'm going to the widgets folder and inside the widgets folder i have the new style dot dart just save this and we should now get access to the new style and now this new style uh will actually contain uh some uh attributes so the first one would be the title and the title would be actually the news list news list uh index index dot uh title it should be so uh title and then we need to specify the subtitle and the subtitle would, would will actually be the news list list index dot description maybe so description and then we can also provide the image url so image url it would be news list uh index dot your um it will be the image url so um so image 
URL. Okay, let's save it and let's see what we get. Okay, so there was an error. So basically the getter length was called on null. So we need to check why we are getting this error. So guys, actually we have uh, skipped uh, the init state method. So our uh, get news method will not get called when the state renders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the init state method and inside this init state method uh, I'm going to just uh, call this get news method and also since we actually have uh, so since the initial value of the news list is set to uh, null so basically we will not get uh, the values instantly and hence we, we will be getting this error so to solve this error what we can do we can actually uh, set a boolean values so we can basically display a loading spinner um, and to specify that it is loading so set a boolean of a boolean variable of loading and basically when we are uh, going to get the news or when we are fetching the news from the api we want to set uh, this to true so right here we need to define a set state method and inside of it we'll just set the loading to uh, true because uh, because we want to wait for our uh, for our uh, data to uh, be loaded up. So yes, so actually it should be inside the init state method since we are calling the get news method inside our uh, init state. So right here we can just uh, set it to uh, true. And since we are in the init state, so we not need to use this set state method. So we'll just remove it. And now uh, we we are basically going to uh, the loading is uh, will be basically set to true when we will be fetching the data, and when uh, we get the data. So since uh, here, as you guys can see, we basically await for the news, and when we get the news, we basically want to set it to set our loading uh, variable to false. So right here, we can set it to false. So loading set to false. Okay. So now let's save it and also what we can do here is inst instead of displaying uh, the body directly we actually want to check so uh, here I'm actually going to check that if loading so if it is loading then uh, we, we are going to display a circular progress indicator widget so circular progress indicator widget and else if it is not loading then we are going to display the data so and it will be a list view so i think it got removed over there so list view and let's save it now and let's uh, re re reload our app and let's see what we get so as you guys can see it is basically loading up and as soon as it is uh, as soon as as it gets uh, finished uh, loading up it is going to di display the news items and we can actually put the spinner in the center and also one more correction with which we need to do is basically uh, right in our uh, news.dart uh, model uh, file uh, what we need to do is actually we are parsing uh, the published date uh, and time as date time so basically we need to uh, we cannot parse it as a string so date time so here date time dot parse and inside this parse we actually want uh, the element to be there so just wrap it with date time dot parse and then uh, we are going to do the same we're just go going to copy this and paste it here for our category news so right here just paste it over here and then save it and restart our app again okay so now as you guys can see we have uh the latest news over here but uh we cannot actually scroll this whole thing so let's uh fix this so guys first of all uh since we are using uh, the same container we used for our category card so uh, here uh, we actually do not need the height because uh, this the list of this news uh, tiles can uh, take as much height as it wants so that we don't have to scroll it like this so uh, i'm just going to remove the height from the uh, news style container and then uh, what we can do to make this scrollable as a whole is uh, i can actually include uh, school physics so right here i can just define a physics for our schooling and this this one will be a school physics 
and also we want to uh, provide a shrink wrap because we are not providing a high torque container so for that we'll just provide a shrink wrap and set it to true and uh, also we can um, remove this padding but we can actually uh, change this padding so this one this one will be uh, not symmetric but only and it will be given to the top so we get some uh, spacing between our new style so top and it will be let's say one let's save this and hopefully now we will able to be scroll this list so as you guys can see we are now being able to scroll this list and um, and yes it can take as much uh, height as it wants and also now what we want is to make this uh tile a bit um make the content a bit smaller and also we uh, want the heading to be in uh bold format and also as soon as we click on any of this list style we want to uh, view the whole news so we want to display a web view for it and yes so for that first of all i'm going to my new style dart file and right here as you guys can see we have the title so we can make it a bit bolder so i'm going to give a styling the text style and inside this text style first of all i'm going to make it bold so font weight and it will be font weight dot bold and then let's save it first and let's see what we get so our heading is now a bit bolder and also we can now make the subtitle or the uh, description a bit smaller because as you guys can see it is taking so much of space so i'll just make it a bit bigger so that you guys can see it more clearly so yes yeah, so our description of the news is taking um, much space than the title itself so for that uh what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to my subtitle attribute and here i have the text widget in which i have the subtitle so here uh i will uh, first of all provide another attribute called max line so it will basically specify how much line a uh, paragraph can take so i'll just set it to two save it and now as you guys can see we just have the description limited to just two lines and it is just looking uh more uh, uh nice and after that uh what we can do is actually uh, wrap this uh, container which contains our list style uh with uh another widget and we'll call it gesture detector which is a widget uh where in uh, in which we get the option for uh tapping and for interactivity so yes we are going to use this widget to actually uh make the user uh able to view the whole news uh, view the whole story in a separate screen or in a separate uh widget maybe so for that what we can do first of all let us save save this and uh then uh we can actually we can create a new file inside our screens folder so since we ha just have the home page so back inside our screens folder we'll just create a new file and we are going to call it uh article article screen or yes yeah, so uh, article screen dot dart okay and also what uh, we need we, we can do is actually we can also display the new, uh, list of the news we related to a specific category so as soon as we hit in any of this ca category card we can see uh, the news related to that specific category so for that i am also going to create a new file and let's call it a uh, category uh, wise news so category wise actually let's just uh, keep it uh, like this category a uh, news screen dot dart so uh, now we have our two new screens so the first one will be the article screen uh, in which we can uh, view the uh, news articles in uh, great detail or the full article and the next one would be the category uh, news screen uh, in which we can actually view uh, the news list uh, related to a particular category and uh, the list uh, of the news list which are, which we are going to have in the category section or maybe in the category related section we actually want to uh, make our, our article screen 
available to both of them so the home page also and also the category news screen dot that so that as soon as we hit um, uh, the news article in any of this uh, screens we get uh, redirected to the full article so yes that is what we we are go going to be doing so first of all for our category news screen as you guys might have seen earlier in our news dot dart file inside the models folder we actually uh, need a uh, a parameter over here so right here the class of category news we need a parameter which is the category and then we uh, place this category in inside our U URL which then calls uh, the URL and uh, just decode the response which we get so for that right here I'm just going to copy my home page well whatever I have in my home page dot dart file so I'll just copy this up because it's going to be the same we, we are going to have the same list uh, list of uh, news articles so i'll just paste it in my category news screen dot dart file and in here we actually do not need this uh, category card because uh, we, this is a separate screen so i'll just remove it and remove it uh, from here okay so here is the container just re remove this section and yes so we also uh, will be re removing this label and also the size box of all of them okay so now here we have our uh, category uh, screen category new screen and let's call it so this is going to be the category news so at category news screen and we need to do it for all of them so i'll just uh select all of them over here and just write uh category news screen okay so i think i've made a mistake i'll do it again so right here I'll just remove this from here and category news screen. Okay, so now uh, here, first of all, this category news screen uh, will uh, is going to take a certain certain uh, parameter over here, and this will actually be the category uh, get news for uh, category. So. Uh, it is actually the method which we have created uh, in our news or that as you guys can see this is the uh this is the method so get category news so yes yeah, so get uh, category news so get category news now uh what we can do is actually change some uh, values over here so this one will not be the news class over which we have in our news dart file we have this news class but this one will now actually be the category news so i'll just copy it up and i'll just uh, paste it over here and uh we are going to be calling it as news and here also uh we'll actually create the instance of this class and the instance will be stored in this news variable and now uh, inside our news uh, variable or the ca category news class we actually have a method called get category news it actually uh, takes a string so for that what we can do is we can actually uh, this one will, will be actually get category news and actually it takes a parameter and the parameter would be a widget dot uh, since uh, we will be needing the uh, news category so we need to be uh in including it as a parameter so we need to pass it down to this uh category news screen widget so here first of all i'm going to define them so first of all we are going to be needing a string and that will be your uh news category let's call it news category uh, and also we need to initialize them and maybe we can also get the name of the category so that we can display it on the app bar of our category new screen so yes so uh, i'm just going to create another string final and this one will be the name of the category or the category and now uh, we need to initialize them so category new screen and inside of this we can specify this dot uh, news category comma uh, this dot uh, your category okay semicolon 
and now hopefully we'll be able to uh get the news uh, and to display it uh, of a specific or a particular category over here so here inside my app bar uh, i actually not need this title the daily news i am actually going to put uh, the uh, name of the ca category over here so this this name so i'll just copy this up and it is a variable so we'll just uh, paste it over here and it is actually a string variable so actually we need to uh, call it like this so widget dot category okay so now uh, here uh, since this is a stateful widget so yes so now here what we can do is uh, actually save it and now i as soon as we hit uh, a category card we want to be redirected to that uh, list or list of category news articles so for that i am going back to my homepage dot dart and here uh, around uh, the category card widget which we have created below we actually going to wrap this stack with a uh, gesture detector widget so gesture detector and inside this gesture a detector widget we can actually specify at the on tap attribute so on tap now uh if we tap on it then we want to get uh to that screen that category news list screen so for that i'm just going to push so navigator dot push to a new screen and here we get the context and uh a route which will be the material page route so page route and this material page route will take a builder and this builder takes a container so, so over here and it takes a context actually so context and uh, here we need to specify the screen which we want to go to so it will be our category category new screen yes so this is the category new screen and now this category news and news uh, screen takes two parameters so it will be the category and uh, also it will be the uh, news category so and these two are uh, the same but uh, here what we can do we can just write here category name because it is just a name so it can be uh, in uppercase uh, and here we actually want everything in in a small case so you write here category name dot lowercase because the api is not going to understand uh like if we go to our news start file if we write here like something with a capital let letter then the api will uh, not be able to recognize it so we are just going to uh, make uh, everything lowercase for our category name and yes as now uh here uh we are getting an error i think uh We'll just remove these brackets because this is an arrow function and we are just returning it so right here and also we going to remove this and let's see what else we are getting so here we actually need to specify the widget dot uh, news category so news category which we converted to lowercase and yes yeah, so now let's uh, save this and let's reload our app and uh, actually we forgot to put this uh, loading spinner in center so i'll just do it now so uh right over here we can just wrap our circular progress indicator with a center widget and we'll just save it and now we can actually check if it is working or not so i'll just tap a card and now i should get uh the list of news uh, uh related to this category that is business okay so now we have uh the list of news related to that category so as you guys can see over here so uh again actually i don't want this jar widget over here so going back to my category news screen dot dart what i'm going to do i'm just going to remove this uh our widget which we have here so i'm just going to remove it and save it again and now we must get this option so that we can go back and yes yeah, so we can now view uh different news lists or different news related to different categories so related to science and all these 
other categories so yeah so now let's focus on uh, building uh, the uh, news article screen because uh, we want to actually view the whole news so if we click on any of these styles so for that I'm uh, just going to uh, be going back to my article screen dot dart file and here uh, first of all I'm going to import the material package so package material dot dart and then again uh, we need to import a package called web view so we need to include uh, the package in our uh, puffpack.yml file under the dependency section so if you go to pub.dart and if you uh, search for web view then you get this uh, package and going to the installing section you can just copy this up and just paste it right here below the HTTP package so I'll just paste it I'll save it and now uh, hopefully we will be able to use it in our article screen.dart file so here I'm going to import the uh, web view letter web view letter dot dart package and uh, after that uh, I'm just going to create a stateless widget over here so actually uh, since we are using a web view so we'll be needing a stateful widget not a stateless widget and uh, also uh, let's call it uh, article article detail maybe so article detail and uh, yes yeah, so this is the article detail widget and it is going to display uh, the whole news article or the uh, whole news uh, screen so it is basically going to return a scaffold and this scaffold is going to have an app bar and this app bar uh, is going to have a title so title and this title would be actually the same as our home page so uh, news app we can actually copy this up from here so I'll just uh, copy this whole app bar thing right here and so here and I'll just copy it and I'll just uh, paste it instead of this so I'll just paste it here and after that we need to pro provide a body for it so so for the body uh, we will actually first of all be needing a container and inside this container we can set the height so the height and width uh, will be a device specific so we're just going to use the media query so media query dot off context dot height is its height and we're just going to do the same for actually we uh, need to provide a size so dot size dot height and I'm just going to do the same for my width so it's here and this one will be the weight and here width so now uh, what we need to do we need to give the child to our container and this child would be will, will be the web view widget and now this uh, web view widget is going to take uh, first of all it is going to take a pair uh, a url uh, for our news article so initial url attribute where we need to get access to that uh, url of our uh, news article and for that what i'm going to do over here is i'm going to declare a string uh we just call it as post url and uh, I'm going to initialize it and now since this is uh, this will be a required parameter so if we do not have the URL then we cannot uh, show uh, the article or the whole article so for that uh, I'm just going to make it a required parameter so post URL rate required and uh, Yes, so this one will be actually this dot post URL. So this dot post URL, and and uh, this one will be actually article detail. So now uh, for our initial URL, we can just uh, get the widget dot uh, post URL, and also we can uh, provide 
the on web view created attribute so when on web view created we want to give a uh, we want to set a web view controller so web view controller and it will be a web view controller so this is going to be a function which takes this web view co controller as a parameter and this will be controller so we have not defined this controller yet so we can define it uh, right here so here uh, what we can do is final completer and here we can actually tell it that it is actually a web view controller and it is going to set it to our controller variable and it will be the instance of this completer web it is going to refer to this web view controller yes so yes yeah, so now we can use it so controller dot and uh, complete uh, web view controller okay so uh, so now hopefully we will be able to uh, get access to this uh, web view of a particular news article and let's remove this and let's save this and now uh, what we need to do is we actually need to uh, go to our let me close this files and we need to go to our new style.dart file and here we can wrap this container we have all already wrapped it with a gesture de detector and now when we press uh, on tab we actually i'm going to uh, give an anonymous function and here just need to clear navigator dot push uh navigator dot push uh, it takes two parameters the first one is the context and the second one is the material page route it takes a builder and provide a context and then uh we're going to return our uh article uh, screen so article detail widget over here so i'll just copy this up and i'll paste it uh, right here and since we have not imported it so let me just import it so import uh, dot slash uh, not double dot slash since it is in separate folders so double dot slash uh it is our with in our inside of screens folder and this is the article screen dot dart so i'll just copy uh, save this and also this article article detail uh, needs to be provided the url of our article because it takes the url and it is a required parameter so for that we need to get it over here so i'll just get it here so just call it article url url okay so now uh, here in our home page we need uh, the article url so right here in our news list we will be needing uh, it right uh, here so inside the new style we need to provide another attribute so first of all let me um, save this and also let me initialize it over here so this dot article url save this and here now we can use it so article url and this will be uh the news uh index dot let's copy this and this will be the news index dot uh url maybe first of all let me check so i'll just open the news dot dart file and yes so it is the article url so i'll just uh, copy this up and just paste it over here paste it and also i'm just going to do the same uh, in my category news list screen so here uh in our new style we're just going to need to pr provide it and i'll save it and i'll restart the app and uh yes let's see what we get now and hopefully uh, this is going to work okay so i think i have done i think uh, i have actually not wrap the circular progress indicator in our home screen with a center widget so make sure you do that so just save it again and now uh let's try actually uh hitting an article so i'll just hit this article and we have 
taken to the screen and actually i think uh, in our article detail over here in our new style dot dart file we have actually not provided the parameter to our article detail widget so we need to provide it so this will be post url and this will be article url okay let's save it and let's try restarting it again and now as you guys can see we actually have this loading spinner in the center and again i'll click this list tile and let's click it okay so now we have uh the web view over here so this is basically uh a website and we are getting this uh inside our app by using the web view package so yes and also what uh, i can do over here is basically in our article screen.dart file we can actually um remove this search icon and actually we can add some more icons like the icons dot maybe uh we can add a bookmarking icon so bookmark and also we can add another icon for like sharing it so let's copy this up and let's paste it here and this one can be icons dot uh maybe share okay so let's save this and uh yes yeah, so now we get this option over here so um it's looking nice and also this one uh should be bookmark border not just bookmark let's save it and yes yeah, so now it's looking uh nice and after that we can also view more articles we can just click on any of them and we'll get uh, to that website it will basically redirect to that website with the, the article which we have pro provided to it over here so my internet is basically a little bit slower so yes hopefully uh, this uh will be enough for this video and i hope you uh found this video helpful uh, do like and share this video if you found it helpful and do subscribe to my channel uh, if you want to see more videos like this and do comment if you have any suggestions or any doubts related to this video and till then guys uh thanks for watching